Ready? Yep. Okay. Is it fast enough for you? <laughs> I thought maybe I should have put my seatbelt on. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Levi from Future Maker, and today we're gonna to talk about your future. So you've probably noticed that there's quite a buzz surrounding electric cars recently. They're getting faster, they're getting more efficient, they're just better than they used to be. There's a lot of people that never would have driven an electric car about five years ago. They're really starting to think about it. If I'm being honest, I'm one of those people. The most important thing for you is that this technology is bringing a lot of new high paying jobs with it, and you don't really need a lot of college to do some of them. You don't need to go get a $90,000 degree just to get out in the workforce anymore. With electric cars, it's gonna be a lot of new jobs that are opening up in the near future. So what makes electric cars so cool? Well, to show us, we have Randy Roebuck. He's a former F-16 fighter pilot for the United States Air Force, so he knows a thing or two about cutting edge technology. He recently purchased a Tesla Model Y and was more than happy to show it off to us. So what made you want to get an electric car instead of a combustion engine? Well, a variety of reasons. Number one is the, the next uh, technology. Number two is a very low maintenance. Uh, probably number three is the full self-driving feature of this particular electric car. Uh, all Teslas have a full self-driving feature uh, for that. Uh, plus, I like the idea of being able to charge at home. And uh, it is, uh, the fuel is about a third of what it costs for gasoline. Wow. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Um, plus, they just last a long time. There's only like uh, 300 moving parts as opposed to a as opposed to a for internal combustion engine. Um, you know, there's no uh, transmission, there's no radiators, there's no oil changes. All the stuff you go to uh, dealers and car shops for, you don't have to worry about uh, with this vehicle. Speaking of safety, it's one of the safest cars you can drive. You don't have an engine in the front, so all that is crumple zone. A lot of crumple zone in the back as well, too. But uh, probably the biggest uh, factor is just a lot of fun, uh, a lot of cool software features uh, for it. Since I'm in IT, I like I appreciate all those software features yeah. uh, for that, uh, for the vehicle. Awesome. Now I understand these have some pretty crazy power with them too, right? Yeah, it's uh, two electric motors. Uh, the motor in the back is a permanent magnet generator motor, which is uh, more efficient. Mm -hmm. And then the motor in the front is a, an induction motor, like typical uh, electric motors, but it has a lot of power. So the combination of efficiency and power together generates about 450 horsepower. Wow. Uh, so it does a zero to 60 in about four and a half seconds. Uh, not bad for a small SUV. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, of course, because they're electric motors, they have instant torque. Mm -hmm. So you're not waiting for the motor to rev up or to get to a certain RPM. Uh, there's no shifting. Um, so it's just that the motors just go free flow all the way up to how many? 10,000 or 12,000 RPM. Jeez. So what's the top speed on this thing? Top speed is uh, 135 miles an hour, and that's limited by software. Huh. It will actually do more than that, but uh, it's probably, it wasn't safe to do more than that. Yeah. Um, the other versions of Teslas will go up to 165 miles an hour. Wow. And then, and then the, uh, the Roadster Tesla that comes out next year will have a top speed of 225 miles an hour. Jeez. So you were telling me earlier you used to actually fly F-16s. Yep, flew F-16. So this is, uh, this is my land-based F-16. Uh, it feels like uh, when you uh, hit the accelerator, uh, like uh, going into afterburner. Plus the other wow. thing with an F-16, <laughs> in the Air Force it's called the electric jet because everything is uh, electric menus, electric uh, um, uh, control uh, for that. So this is very similar in that regard. That's awesome. So what's something that you could see being improved in electric cars in the future? Like what uh, could they add to these? You think? The biggest improvement that they'll continue to work on is gonna be uh, a longer range. Uh, because uh, it's been proven by studies that uh, people are more likely to consider electric cars if it has uh, uh, more than 300 miles of range. This one has 300 miles of range, uh, but 500 miles of range, the people will be very comfortable. And it's a chicken and egg thing. Until you get more EVs uh, and EV charging stations, uh, then people are a little nervous about that. But 
but you know the thing is if you're just driving around town you just charge it home you never go to a public charging station you only need those when you're uh, traveling uh, outside your town mm -hmm. uh, for that and then for the Teslas they have superchargers every 100 120 miles along major highways uh, huh. and they build they, they roll out more every week uh, for that but uh, these are still the early stages of EVs uh, but uh, this year they're probably going to produce uh, a half a million Teslas a million EVs total probably in the world and then um, by 2030, it's estimated that a third to half of all cars will be electric cars. So I know what you're thinking, Levi, that's cool, but you didn't show us how to work on electric cars. Well, we're gonna take you down to WSU Tech and their alternate fuels lab. This is where you'd take classes learning how to do some of this stuff, and they're really hands-on classes. So if you don't like sitting in a classroom, this is perfect for you. As you're watching this, if you live in the state of Kansas, the state will actually pay your tuition to go take this class if you're in high school. It's definitely something to look into. So we've come down to the automotive department here at WC Tech City Center. Now this is where they teach people how to work on EVs as well as normal combustion engines. Follow me, we're going to learn about what they do here. So why did you guys choose this as a career field? I did it because I want to work at Tesla eventually one day. I've worked with cars since I was a little kid with my family. It's kind of like the new age of cars. Like these are going to go out probably soon. So electric vehicles are at Tesla. So here to tell us more about the EV program at WSU Tech, we have Chuck Kaufman. Chuck, why don't you tell me about yourself? How you doing? My name's Chuck Kaufman. I'm the alternative fuels instructor here at WSU Tech. And in this class, we're going to learn about electric cars. We're going to learn about hybrid cars. We're going to learn about electric fuel cells. We're also going to learn about compressed natural gas. Uh, what made you want to get into this? Uh, I've always been interested in cars. Um, when I was younger, I uh, actually built a Camaro for drag racing. Uh, I built a turbocharged Saturn to drag race. I built some cars for 81 Speedway. And I even went down and raced some at Hallett for a little while. Really? So I've always been interested in cars. And then uh, just working at dealerships for the last 35 years, you know, as progression happened, the hybrid cars started coming in. And I took an interest in that. It was really cool. I love the technology. And so I just followed up on it and kept going. Awesome. So could you ever see yourself driving an electric car? Like, would you prefer an EV or do you want one of the older styles? I want an EV. Uh, I don't think I ever want to get rid of my gasoline car because I, the sound is just, you can't beat that sound. And an electric car, of course, is very, very quiet. Yeah. And there's, they don't make much noise. But uh, as far, and I want to build one to drag race, just like my gasoline car. Yeah, we just, uh, we just shot a video with, or the first part of this video with Randy out of NCAT and his Tesla Model Y, and that blew my socks off. Yeah, that car really accelerates. Yeah. Uh, I likened it to a uh, probably a 10 second quarter mile car yeah. when he accelerated. The kind of, kind of exhilaration you get from taking off in that car. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. So. That, that was a Tesla Model Y, it was pure electric. Right. Let's talk a little bit about this one. Well, this is a Ford Fusion Energy. It's a plug-in hybrid. Uh, it's one of the milder hybrids. Uh, it can go about 21 miles on pure electric. So it drives a lot like the Tesla. It's not yeah. as fast, okay? It doesn't accelerate as quick. But um, you can drive it about 21 miles and the gasoline engine will never start. After about 21 miles, the gasoline engine will start it will power the vehicle to drive down the highway as well as charge the battery. Once the battery reaches a full charge, the engine will shut back off and you're back on electric for 21 miles. Wow, so how does that help your fuel economy? Well, that's 21 miles you got to go down the road, you weren't burning gas. All right, so how do you uh, fill this up? Uh, fill this up with electric? Well, we can plug this in overnight. There's a filler door right here. Open that up. I've got a charger laying here. Everybody gets excited about these, thinks they're terrible. You know, oh, I got to put all new in my garage and whatever else. If you take a look at the plug-in on this, it looks just like your oven or just like, you know, an appliance you plug in because it does run off of 110. Now with 110, it'll take all night, overnight to charge, but you can put in a 220 outlet like you'd plug your uh, dryer in and uh, it'll charge in half the time. That's awesome. So what do you show the students how to do on this car? On this car, we use this car to identify hybrid and electric parts. 
uh, you're gonna find orange cables under the hood and under the vehicle. Those are your high voltage cables. We'll also hook our scanners up to this. We can watch each individual cell of the battery or each module that I showed you over there of the battery and see how much voltage is in it. So if we got one that fails, we'll know it. Uh, we also have everybody drive this car who's licensed and insured so that they get a chance to drive a car under full electric. That's awesome. So how long does that class take from beginning to end? So like starting the program, how long before they can actually be out in the field working? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's a full year um, for all of it. Uh, just the hybrid stuff runs for a semester and then we go into the, uh, the engines and so forth for another semester. Uh, and we tie them in together. So all the way through each class, like steering and suspension, we'll have some electric steering in it. And we'll talk about the hybrid and the electric steering in that class as well. So in about a year, a year and a summer, you can be working. Now there's a lot more jobs than just working on electric cars. A lot of different industries use this technology. And we're only gonna show you one of them. We're gonna go down to Berry Material Handling. They work with forklifts. And more specifically, they have a lot of electric forklifts. They really need technicians right now and they're having a really hard time finding them. That's a common theme all over the country. If you guys like this and it looks fun to you, definitely take a look into it because you can get a job almost anywhere. Here to show us around is Jeff. He's the service manager here at Barry, and he's been with them for about five years. So what are we looking at here? This is our full service facility. We've got three bays, three technicians that are full time in the shop. They work on anything from gas, electric, diesel, from basic just repairs to making them fresh, new, ready to go out to the customer's location. Awesome. Can we go and take a look at some of the stuff they're doing? Yeah. We've got a battery pulled apart, getting ready to pull a cell. This one currently has two cells that are bad. This one and this one. We're gonna pull these cells out individually and replace them. And then we'll lead, we'll lead the cells back in to make a complete 24 volt battery. So what can cause a cell to go bad like that? Just heat running low on water, uh, which increases the heat load, or just age. This is what happens when a, a battery is poorly maintained. Mm -hmm. All the battery has to build up, it has burned through some of the cells. Oh wow. On the, just the heat transfer and whatnot, so. Yeah. I've seen some stuff like that in my car before. So how easy is it to find people to, to do these jobs? It is very difficult. The, no, we have to train our technicians because forklift mechanics are not easily found. Yeah. It's, they, they see a forklift and they're not on a construction site out front where everybody drives by and sees them. Forklifts are in the back. It's dark, it's dirty. Yeah. And forklifts are dark and dirty. So to recap, electric cars aren't so lame anymore. There's classes that you can go take to learn about them, and they're free if you're in high school in the state of Kansas. And there's a lot of jobs out there. You just gotta go look for them. We'd like to thank Randy, Chuck, and Jeff for all letting us come out and film with them. They were awesome, and we couldn't have done this without them. Also, they let me drive one. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Also drop us a like, it really helps us out. Until next time, I'm Levi from Future Maker, and remember, stay in school doesn't have to mean student debt.